Well, we finally have some more really good news about some development of the iPhone SE 4th generation. And it looks like not only did we have some leaks a few days ago stating that the iPhone SE 4 is going to be happening after the rumors of basically the iPhone SE 4 that wasn't going to happen, that was kind of crazy. But it looks that the iPhone SE 4th generation, the panels are already starting to be supplied and there's already development and movement within the actual supply chain of the iPhone SE 4. So before, I guess Apple was still in the mix of like whether they were going to make it or whether they weren't. It looks like they're actually going through and they are going to be making this specific iPhone, which is amazing. So within this article from Mac Rumors, they basically went on to say that basically the 6.1 inch iPhone SE 4, the OLED panels are going to be supplied by the China's BOE company. So it looks like they're going to be using these specific BOE panels, which I'm okay with. I think there was some other iPhones that have these panels, possibly the cheaper baseline iPhone 14s could have them. And I think that's totally okay. I think for having an iPhone SE 4th generation like this, it's completely okay to have a phone that is, you know, that doesn't have the best panel, as long as it's not a $1,000 phone, and as long as it's not even a $700 phone. If this phone is $700 or more, that is going to be such a ripoff. I think the sweet spot is about $599. Now, this article goes on to state that, again, they kind of put it out there that this is going to be in the same type of body as an iPhone 14 or an iPhone 13, like kind of the same exact thing. And if you kind of think about it the same exact kind of way I've been kind of planning it in my head is that most potentially what Apple's probably going to be doing, they're going to remove the older iPhones. So what that means is they're still going to maintain their you know, newest generation, their iPhone 14, the 15, the 16, so on and so forth. But when those iPhones become a year old, instead of dropping them to a lower price tag, I think they're just going to get rid of them entirely or something along those lines. I think they're going to have two different iPhone lineups going on at the same time that are going to be refreshed at different intervals. So the iPhone SE 4, they might get refreshed every two years, and the iPhone you know, 14 and 15, and those ones are probably going to be refreshed every year. So I think that's probably the smartest thing Apple can do, and I think that would make probably the most amount of sense for a majority of people out there. Now, with something like the iPhone SE 4, in this specific case, we're probably going to be seeing this iPhone as early as next year. So it's not going to be coming out this year, which is kind of sad. Maybe we'll get another iPhone SE third generation, like the refresh or something. I don't know. I don't really think it needs it, to be honest, because uh, what it needs is a price drop, if I'm being completely honest. But I think with the iPhone SE 4, this is really good news. And as long as it's not severely overpriced, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.